Hey guys, today I'm talking about adultery and fornication and what the Bible says about both of those. So the Greek word for adultery is moikao and it means to have sex with someone who you are not married to, who is married to someone else. Fornication is the Greek word pornea in the Bible, which generally means sexual perversion such as prostitution or viewing pornography. God did not create our bodies to take part in adultery or fornication. Uh, it says, uh, you say, food for the stomach and stomach for the food. God will destroy them both. The body, however, is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is meant for the body. In other words, our body should be used to glorify God, not adultery and fornication. Whenever you commit sexual sins, it is sinning against your body. 1 Corinthians 6.18 talks about this and says, Flee sexual immorality, or run as if in fear. Every sin a person commits is outside the body, or does not affect your body. Looking, or, But the immoral person sins against his own body. So sexual sins are literally sinning against your own body. And Matthew 5.28 even says that looking at a woman lustfully is the same as having sex with her. But the good news is that God will help us fight these things. 1 Corinthians 10.13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so you can endure it. John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, He, God, is faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all right unrighteousness. Colossians 3 5 says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lusts, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. So basically the Bible says not to have any part with these things, but it does also give us a way out. And if you confess what you've done to God and ask for forgiveness, He will forgive you for it.